Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Goo. I mean, I'm back at it with another upload. Shout out to all my new subscribers, man. We growing. I appreciate y'all, bro. We almost at that 40k. 40k coming soon, man. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with me. Gonna keep growing, running it up, keep doing what we do, man. I'm gonna keep dropping this heat for y'all. Shout out to everybody that's been showing support, man. And yeah, straight like that, bro. Now, today, we're gonna take it back, y'all. We're gonna, we're gonna take it back a little bit. Some of y'all been requesting this video, and I thought, why not? Don't call this no story times, man. This is Tales in the Hood. I'm gonna be talking to y'all boys about the first time. The first time your boy got arrested. Arrested. Yeah, this gonna be crazy. This shit gonna be crazy, bro. This gonna be crazy. This shit gonna be crazy, bro. This gonna be a this gonna be a wicked story, man. Y'all not gonna believe how this, you know what I'm saying? How this move got. You feel me? Everybody ain't loyal. Y'all not gonna believe how this went down, man. This this gonna be real. Welcome to the first edition of Tales from the Hood, man. This is gonna be a new series I'm starting up, bro. It's not really, you can call it a story time, but you know what I'm saying? We keep it real, bro. We ain't gonna call it a story time, man. This is Tales from the Hood, bro. You know what I'm saying? All the, I done been through a lot of silly and dumb stuff, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in New York. I live in New York City, and it's very easy to get into, you know what I'm saying, problems out here, especially when you're young. You get into all kinds of shit, fights, slap box, getting suspended, cutting school, doing all, doing all kinds of shit. Doing silly stuff around the hood, just, just running around, just being a kid, bro, having fun, living life. So yeah, man, all my blazers roll up, all my smokers smoke up, and let's get right into it, man. This is Tales from the Hood with Sosa OG. Mm. Basically, this is how the story starts, man. Like I said, I had to be about, about 13, or 13 or 14. I was with two of my friends. It was my boy Malik and my boy Christian. Now, everybody know a motherfucker named Malik or Christian. Don't hang with dudes named Christian and Malik. They will fuck you over. They will get you fucked up. If you got a friend named Malik and Christian, cut them all. Don't hang with them. Well, I was with my boys. It was three of us. You know what I'm saying? It was a nice day. And when you young, man, and you smoke, and you like just start smoking. When you young, you don't really have, you know what I'm saying, a place to go to smoke weed. At least when I was young, I did. I didn't really have a place to go to smoke. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't smoke in my house when I was younger, so uh, it usually, like you know what I'm saying, when you young and, and, and trying to find a place to, you know what I'm saying, smoke up real quick, you gotta either like, you know, find you a little park or something, we find a park or something to chill in, or, the real niggas know. All the real ones know. If you don't, if it ain't the pop, it's the staircase. If you got a thotty and you trying to get a little, you know what I'm saying, a little session real quick, you go to the staircase. When you ain't got a, you ain't got the crib, you take it to the staircase. All right. If you trying to get a little smoke session on, you go to the staircase. But like I said, I, I don't advise doing this stuff now. It's 2017. This was when I, I'm talking when I was 12 or 13, bro. This is way back. We had about like two or three. We had about two or three splits to each of us. You know what I'm saying? We was just going to chill. We was just going to chill, back, smoke up, get a nice little buzz real quick, and just keep it moving, man. You know how it goes. But yeah, man. We basically, we got in the staircase. Now, once we're in the staircase, you know what I'm saying? We get all the splits rolled up. We start smoking. Boom, boom, boom. We start smoking and all that. Now, I'm sitting on the bottom steps. Like we, we in the staircase. I'm sitting on the bottom stairs. They're standing in front of me. My two boys are standing in front of me. I'm sitting on the last step of the staircase. The top of the stairs are behind me. I don't see nothing that's behind me. Now I got my headphones on, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling, magging, jamming to my music and all that, you feel me? You no, know, I'm smoking, I'm enjoying my high. Now my two bros, they're standing up. I don't see what's behind me. They're standing up in front of me. So I'm just on the bottom step, chilling, smoking, and as I look up, as I look up at Christian and Malik's face, they both just run for no reason. Like I said, I got my headphones in, I'm not thinking of nothing, I'm not thinking anything's going on, so they just run off. 
So I'm thinking, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, y'all don't want no more of this weed. Now, as I'm, as I see them run off and I'm smoking, as I'm smoking, as I'm smoking and jamming, you know what I'm saying, with my headphones in, mind you, they gone already, they already ran off, you know what I'm saying? I say about two seconds later, I feel like a hand kind of touched my shoulder. I look up and it's two fucking cops. Two cops, not just one, two fucking cops. It's two fucking cops. I'm so stuck in the moment as I look at the cop, I just blow a whole cloud of smoke in the cop's face. I kid you not, not to be an asshole, but I was just stuck in the moment. So now I already know what time it is. I'm done for. Now I know I'm done for. So they arrested me, put the handcuffs on me. So now I'm in the back of the cop car now. Now I'm sitting in the back of the cop car. And mind you, this is my first time getting arrested. I'm like 13, 14, so I'm feeling like a dub. I'm in the back of the cop car like, you can't hold me, nigga. They can't hold me, nigga. Where at the time, where I was at, it was a precinct not too close from where I lived at. So I thought like I would be taken in, you know what I'm saying? And not too close, not too far, I mean. So I thought I'd be taken in, you know what I'm saying? Not too far from where I'm at, so. I'm like, all right, if anything, I, once I get out and say, oh, my mom's gonna pick me up or something, I'm straight. So what I thought was gonna happen didn't end up happening. Like, basically, I got took into a precinct in West Bubblefuck. Completely in West Bubblefuck. Like, once you get to the precinct, you gotta go through the whole process. Like, you get fingerprinted, they take your shoelaces. They, they took a, how you take my shoelaces, bro? They took my laces, dog. I'm in the cell with no shoelaces. Just thinking, man. How long? So I'm just thinking, like, how long am I going to be here? Like, how long am I going to be here? How long are they going to keep me here? You know what I'm saying? Like, once you in the cell for the first time, you, you just get a whole bunch of thoughts. Like, everything starts running through your mind at one time. Like, everything. Everything starts to go through your mind at one time when you, your first time getting locked up. Or when you get locked up in general. You just start thinking about anything, like, you feel know I me? Mean? They had me in there for hours, bruh. And then my moms had to come scoop me up. My moms whooped my ass, bro. In the precinct. So I got ditched, got my ass whooped, got arrested, fingerprinted, and everything. So basically, that was an L throughout the whole time, bro. These niggas left me, bro. How you gonna leave me, bro? You don't even tap the boy. You don't even... How you just gonna leave, bro, without saying nothing, bro? How they just gonna leave me, bro? Everybody ain't low, you, man. All right? So the moral of the story is, don't hang with dudes named Christian or Malik. They will get your ass in trouble, all right? And don't smoke in staircases, all right? Do not do it. It's a no-no. It wasn't the craziest story. It wasn't the craziest story, but that was just my first time. My first time, you know what I'm saying, getting into some little trouble, man. And it, it, it was for what? For smoking weed. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this little Tales from the Hood, man. It's the first of many. If you new, make sure you subscribe. Also hit that like button. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to everybody. Rocking with your boy. 40K on the way. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's go.